Welcome back to more Final Fantasy XIV. In this episode, if the title isn't already clear enough, we're continuing unlocking the Moogles. The third part of this has us back here in Ishgard. They're, they're sure... If I hadn't done the quest over here, that had, there had been three people out of here, and then you have like Alphano and Tataro who are usually over here. Jeez. How's for Tom start popular? Eh, whatever. Estinian? Ah! I've been looking for you, Gala. Commander Hondaloop of the Temple Knights has an urgent matter he'd like to discuss with you. It would seem your strength is required once again. Uh, pray make your way to the congregation of our Knights Most Heavenly and lend an ear to his request. Okay. That's a very abrupt loading. Oh boy. Hello? You're not a Stinian man. They... Christ. That is a very large belly window you have there, ma'am. Ah! The adventurer who felled the dreadworm Nidhogg is here at last. I have a quest that requires the strength of one such as you. We wish to know the current state of the churning mists, now that Nidhogg has been laid low. To that end, we have planned a reconnaissance mission that aims to gather information on the churning mists. Main, Mayen, Mayen here will be leading the mission, and I would ask that you aid her with your knowledge, as well as your strength. If you wish to aid us, try to speak to her. Uh, hello, ma'am. You're very tall. Ah, so you're the adventurer Gala I've heard so much about. Well met, friend. I am Mayen, and I'll be leading our mission into the churning mists. I know Sir Hardaloop has spoken to you already. Will you be lending us your assistance? I've already done this much, ma'am. <clears throat> it is an honor to have the aid of the one who filled the mighty Nidhogg. As you already know, we hope to strike deep into the heart of what was once Nidhogg's domain. However, the Churning Mists remain an uncharted territory for us. I would ask that you teach us all you know of the place, of the beasts dwelling within, and any other information that could aid our mission. Oh, there's Moogles, for one. I see. You have my thanks, Gala. With this information to guide us, we can plan a secure route to our destination. We shall take the airship and make anchor at the Rookery. We shall begin preparations for our departure shortly. Let us meet again at the Rookery, Gala. The rookery, huh? Wait, I can't follow you on the airship? Uh, fucking whatever. Aren't you the guy I was just speaking to? Okay. A man is in charge of this mission and its planning. Very speak to her to learn more. Yeah, thanks. Is that. That is the whole room that Emmerich gets? Wait, no. What the? Oh, it's an elevator! Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, I think the Zenith is closer. I know where the Rookery is. If I didn't already have flying, I would definitely need it now. The Rookery is actually down here, underneath everything. This is 
definitely interesting. Yeah, flying in video games is definitely, especially MMOs, is very hit or miss for me. Uh, worst, I think, was World of Warcraft before Dragonflight, and the best is 100% the Griffin Mount in Guild Wars 2. Here it's interesting, if only for the unique sights. I mean, look at this. But here's the Rookery, it is very inter oh, wait. I'm at the Rookery, yet you need- uh, fucking Christ. I haven't done these quests at all. This is as new to me as it is probably to you. Oh, come on. This whole place is the work. Really? I showed that for nothing. Yeah, fucking whatever. Fine. So, this is the Churning Mists. This is the first time I've set foot in the Horde's stronghold. For the safety of the Holy See, we must needs ascertain the movements of the Horde, now that Nidhogg no longer guides them. Nonetheless, this place fills me with a sense of unease. It's as if someone, or something, is watching us. Eh, it is best not to make, to pay nervous fancies any mind. But Gala, we shall begin our mission shortly. May it end without incident. First time in a thousand years, the Ashgardians are back in the Churning Mists. Let's hope this doesn't have any un unforeseen consequences. I felt ill at ease since our arrival, as if something has been watching us. Hmm. It would be best for us to remain here in case any dragon should lie in ambush, lest we alert them to our suspicions. Uh, Gala, uh, pray investigate the area for any signs of dragons lurking in the shadows. Are you a dragon? Okay, good. Those are dragons. Oh. Okay. Uh, flying might help here. Hello. That's a very big dragon in a very small area. Okay. Maybe it wasn't the Moogles that were watching us. Hello. Damn, glad I fucking called that. Okay, that's two, and I guess the third one's gonna be up here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and the fireball doesn't really do that much damage. Ah, 
As I thought. The dragons tried to take us unawares. We used the cover of the clouds to escape the horde's wrath in the skies, but it seems the dragons here have somehow caught a wind of our arrival. Nevertheless, we cannot waver now simply because danger may lie ahead. We shall proceed with the scouting as planned. Gala, pray ready yourself. This mission may prove more to be more difficult than we anticipated. You have scouts? Uh, Gala, we have needed your aid once again. A unit of scouts has been dispatched to the northeast, and I would have you bolster their strength. I was meant to go myself, but I've received a report that a dragoon from another scouting party was wounded. I will go and assist them. I apologize the burden must fall on you, but we have no other choice. Godspeed, Gala. And little buddy. Little buddy is as part of the team as anyone else. Going to parts of the Churning Mists I don't think I've ever seen before. Hmm, it's another monster. Eastern Eyes. Hello, Dragoon. Uh, give me a second. No, maybe not. Oh, we, I'm supposed to be looking at the airy? Oh, wow. It gives you a sense of scale of everything up here. Ah, the mighty Gala has come to her aid. Mayan had sent word that she would come herself, but to have the adventurer who slew Nidhogg come is an unexpected godsend. We hope to use this area as a base for our scouting missions, but the blood dragons stalking about are making things a bit difficult. I hope you could help us by slaying, say, three of them. I'll try to keep up with you. I suppose I could. seconds of this. No one wasted. Too difficult. Little buddy is getting a bit more help than I was expecting, so I'll keep him up. Uh, made quick work of those dragons. I was only able to slay one myself. We should be able to begin scouting in earnest now, thanks to you. Mm -hmm. 
keep it here. Ah, God damn it, they're nowhere in sight. You see, the blood dragons got a little too close for comfort not so long ago. I was trying to drive them off, I lost two. I lost track of two very valuable etheriometers. We used them to measure the aether levels in the churning mists, and especially made for this thin atmosphere that are nigh irreplaceable. If we will, don't return with them intact, then our mission here will have been for naught. Uh, please, Scholar, help us locate them. Uh, well, while you're here, we have to Whoa. That's very red. Somewhere over here, then. Hmm. Yet I wonder what this place used to be. Ah, son of a bitch. Fuck you. Interesting rock shapes. How goes your search for the etherometers? Ah, many thanks, Scala. Let's see. Ah, excellent. The measurements seem to still be intact, but this, the first step of our mission, ends in success. I hate to ask another favor of you, but could you please bring these etherometers to me in? I'll remain here and continue my duties. Hello, buddy. Is she back at the rookery? Yes, she is. So, how are the scouts to the northeast faring? I trust with your help there haven't been any mishaps. Therometer. An odd contraption used for measuring surrounding aether levels. This particular device has been specifically tuned in order to optimize performance in regions of thinner air. I kind of forget how high up we are. We're above the tallest mountain in Eorzea. Ah, but the measurements for the etherometers have already been completed. Let's see. Oh, God, be good. A certain Stinian's report included mention of the Eyrie, but we didn't anticipate the etheric energy to be this powerful. If we send this to the congregation, they should be able to glean even more information in their analysis. You have a thanks, Scala. We aren't really done here. Uh, Gala, while you were assisting our scouts to the northeast, two locations were discovered to the west that appear to be ancient battlefields. I think these would be ideal places to take etheric measurements. I've sent scouts to each location already, but the ever-present threat of attack makes it difficult for them to obtain accurate readings. But please, Gala, ensure their safety whilst they perform their duties. Head to Sothton Walls first, and with, meet with my scouts. To let you know what's required of you. So, why are we taking etheric measurements? Sothton Walls. 
Hm. We got Eastern Eyes over here. We got Western Waters all the way over there. And Softened Walls, where we're going. Where's North? What's that supposed to be the area? Up. Oh! Up! Okay. Yes, Dyrosaur is my favorite. Hello, Dragoon. Ah, Gala. May instant word of your arrival. Your strength shall prove to be a tremendous help to our work. This area is crawling with dinosaurs, making it impossible to set up the etherometers to obtain accurate readings. We need you to provide a distraction while we set up the etherometers. If you slay three of them, that should provide us ample time. I am gonna go insane. I love these quests where it's like, ah oh, yes, just kill three of them. Why three? Why specifically three? Do I just do this with... Fuck it. Machinist has more damage right now. Look at that. 3,600 3, damage on a critical hit with the drill. Fucking fantastic. You, you're next. Beautiful. Unfortunately, we're going back to bar. Roar and gnash their teeth as they might, the dinosaurs were no match for the likes of you. We've managed to set up the etherometers without incident, though I must admit it would have been it would have been a treat to see you fight for a bit longer. I must wait until the etherometers are done with their measurements. Uh, do you think you could check on the scouting party at the other battlefield? They've been dispatched to the north, and no doubt they are facing the same troubles I have been. Uh, pray help them if they require it. I'm starting to understand why the Moogles are the... Ooh. The one beast tribe people do the least. This is this is a lot. This is so much preamble. Huh. Still wondering where that north place is, but whatever. Ah, it's the adventurer. You've come just in time. I am in dire need of help. I finished setting up my etherometers, but on the way back to my post, a dinosaur attacked and stole my scouting report. I'm not sure which one made off with the report, but I don't think it could have gone far. I'll do what I can to help you find it. Oh, you're... You. You better have her. I'm gonna be mad.
to remember how to play Bard after not really playing it for a couple of months. After leveling it. Oh, that wasn't the thing. That was just... Fuck it. We ball. Were you able to find the report? Ma'am, your voice is different. Don't worry about it. Ah, this is it! I was in the middle of writing it when the dragon attacked and lay laid its grubby paws on it. I can't thank you enough for your help today. Oh, you have gear for me, huh? Now that my report has been completed, I can continue with a more detailed survey. But first, we must collect the three aetherometers set up around the area. I hate to impose on you again, adventurer, but could you collect them for me? I'm, I'm starting to understand for a... just a tiny bit. To these people, an errand girl. Go kill these things. Go pick up these parameters. And for what? Moves. That's what I'm doing this for. I'm so fucking pissed off. Doing all this for a funny dance. My thanks, adventurer. Hmm. The etheric measurements seem to be in order. A scout to the south has completed his readings as well, has he not? On your return, pray collect the etherometers from him as well. Once you have collected all the etherometers, deliver them to Mayen. But pray hurry. An airship should be coming to collect our measurements soon. I shall continue my scouting and return by a different route. Away. Very quiet. Almost spooky. I'm sorry, what the fuck is up with this tree? Why does it look melted? Dragons are fucking weird, man. Ah! It's good to see you again. So you've come to collect the aetherometers? Well, the measurement should be complete by now, but I haven't taken the time to make sure yet. I hate to bother you, but could you collect them for me? Oh my god. Everyone in this expedition they bought me as incompetent, except maybe Mayen. 
Arguably, man. That's two. Where's this third one? There's the sparkles. Oh, don't, don't tell me. Okay, good. I was gonna be mad. What the hell is it? Where? Oh, there it is. you. Hmm. Yes. These measurements should prove to be satisfactory. Uh, adventurer, pre please bring these to Mayen along with the ethereometers from the Northern Scout. Uh, at least I get to do this in the good ride. That is... A lot of purple crystals. Yeah. Look at this, it's like rock has melted from from this onto the rock. No, it's like webbing. Dragons are so fucking weird. Uh, hi? What happened while I was gone? Uh, Gala, you're back. Uh. A dragon caught me unawares, but I'll be fine after some treatment. News to the scouts report. Well, we got all the readings. Uh, I think the 12 they completed their measurements without incident. This land is proving to be more dangerous than we had anticipated. Uh, the pain? I can scarce stand. Uh, Gala, pray put the aetherometers into that sealed crate over there. You want me to just take over the whole expedition, since I I'm, seem to be the only one doing the work here? Okay. Ah, uh, you have my thanks. What in the Seven Hills was that thing? I don't know, but, uh... Uh, give me the striking, I think. Monk might be the next one. Oh, you don't think? Uh, Gala, the potion is doing its work, and before long I'll be fully recovered. I was investigating the lower level of the rookery when a hulking shadow blotted my vision. I managed to fight the beast off and escape, but I fear it still stalks this place. It would be a grievous error to let it live. More dragoons c could come to harm. I would ask you to slay the beast for us. Once this deed is done, bring something from the beast. Anything that would aid in identifying the true nature of the dragon. Okay, fine. Well, I don't see anything. Really? It's just another dinosaur. What? What did you grab from it? Ooh. 
I think I just saw a shooting star. It just, it, hmm. I cannot in good conscience let our dragoons scout the area while that beast still lives. Were you able to track it down? Rusted Basicu? A circular plate affixed below the armpit to deflect sword or lance thrust. This one is rusted clean through. Hmm. You pulled this from the beast's corpse. Hmm. This armor dates back to before any of us were born, but there can be no mistake. It was forged in Ishgard. This must mean that dragon was once a heretic and drank of the dragon blood until he... Hmm. The gilding on the armor indicates it's hundreds of years old. What would drive a man to choose to become that? To a heretic, does such a transformation indicate transcendence? Hmm. Mayhap, tis not for me to understand the mind of a heretic. Nevertheless, we owe you our thanks for ridding us of that abomination. Okay. Unfortunately, we're still not done. Oh god. Well, it seems we've completed surveys of all of the ancient battlefields, thanks to you. However, I have one last request to burden you with. I would ask you to deliver two things to Sir Heinderloop at the congregation. Firstly, I would have you deliver the sealed crate containing the etherometers. Secondly, I ask that you retrieve the observation log from the scout to the northeast. I shall inform my scouts at each location that our mission is complete. Then we shall return to Ishgard together. Uh, once again, you have my thanks. We would not have been able to finish our mission without you. Yeah, that's that's an understatement, of the century man. It's a wonder any of you get anything done. What was that? Uh, nothing. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Ah, the dragoon that was all the way up here. I've received report. I've received word from Sir Mayor. And I've written down detailed information of my observations. Pray bring it to Sir Handeloup at the congregation. The other scouts and I will remain behind at this post and continue with our work until Mayen calls for us. Uh, give Sir Handeloup our regards, adventurer. Okay. Back to Ishgard. Interesting to note that the heretic drew that turned into the dragon is also hundreds of years old. That is wild. Hey, we can give you pretty much ageless immortality, but uh, you gotta turn into a dragon. Sounds pretty fucked up. <laughs> ah, Gala. It seems the operation at the Churning Mists was a success. What exactly did our scouts discover? One sealed grate with erythromical stuff and one observation log about the air. Ah, these erythromotors and the observation log will prove invaluable. Well, this news that Mayen was attacked by a heretic-turned-dragon is troubling. I've been mulling over the information you and Estinian have brought to light. To think that at one time, dragonkind and mankind once coexisted. Yet now we must contend with dragons born of heretics in this ever-ceasing conflict. 
It is much too early to say if the news of our once peaceful past should be given credence. It would be foolish to reject it outright. The best course of action would be to become more familiar. The hell was that? Would be to become more familiar with the history of the churning mists. It is only through knowledge that we could decide our next step. Astinian's report contained detailed information on the Mughals that inhabit that area. Perhaps they would prove to be an invaluable resource for us. Gala, it seems you've developed a bit of a relationship with them, have you not? I apologize for asking another favor of you so soon after you've returned, but I would be grateful if you could help us strike up our own relationship with them. You have my thanks. I shall personally accompany you to assure that this meeting goes favorably, and to show the Mughals my proper respects. We shall depart shortly, Gala. I shall see you at our destination. And back to the Shredding Mists. Moglin. Oh great, we get to do that voice again. Yay. <laughs> <coughs> Tier of purses. Okay. Uh, that's fun. Maglin, you big furry bastard. Ah, uh, Gala. I see you still haven't chosen a proper Moogle name, Cubo. What would you ask of me today? There are those from the surface who wish to know the history of this land. Very well. If you vouch for them, I see no reason to refuse their request. However, I would ask one thing of you in return. The Rubles wish to live in peace, and I can't do that if war rages across the land, Cubo. As long as our desires are understood, I'd like nothing more than to meet these new friends. Now, where can we find this Sir uh, Handloop? Excellent, Cupo. I shall dispatch members of the Palm Guard to escort him at once. Agala, please go along with them. They may be shy around so, around so many new visitors from the surface, Cupo. So much back and forth, oh my god, it's, it's so much. Wait, where do you want me to go? Ah. I suppose that makes sense, that is where... But like... Ugh, I'm a year over there. Okay. Uh, uh, welcome to the Churning Mists, Cubo. Uh, Marglin has told about us about you. It's our pleasure to guide you to Margholm. Uh, ah, where are my nanas? I am Commander Handaloop of the Temple Knights. We are honored to receive your guidance. Furthermore, we appreciate your willingness to impart on us your knowledge of the Churning Mists. If there is aught you would require in return, would gladly repay your kindness. Uh, sir, uh, Sir Handeloup, you come from a large city on the surface, yes? You might have exactly the knowledge we need, Cubo. We've long yearned to learn how to repair stone structures. If we did, we could repair Zenith with our own paws. Us Mughals have a sacred agreement with a great worm graceful god that binds us to protect the Holy Tower. Uh, but, uh, after a thousand years, time has worn its luster. The Zenis is beloved by Gracefelgar, and stands as a symbol of the friendship between the Landlords and Skylords. If we could restore its former glory, maybe the bond between your two races would be revitalized as well. Hmm, indeed. The Holy See's knowledge of stoneworking is vast. Very well. 
Although the road ahead of me may be difficult, I will do all within my power to convince the Holy Sea to send stonemasons and carpenters to do what they can. You are too kind, Kubo. However, there's one more thing I must ask of you. Maybe too soon to allow so many people from the surface into a race Felgar's beloved tower. It could unnerve him. Uh, for now, I ask that you teach us what you can at Margholm. And then, we can use our own paws to repair Zenith. It may start with us repairing but a single brick, but if we keep at it, uh, soon Zenith will sparkle as it hasn't in a millennium, Kubo. Hmm. I understand the Mughal's concern. I know all too well that a thousand years of animosity cannot be forgotten overnight. Let us work with diligence, and brick by brick we shall rebuild that which has been lost. Ah, I'm glad we've come to an agreement, Kubo. Uh, now let us be off to Margon. There's so much to share with you. Alright. What the fuck? What the hell is that out there? Huh. That's slightly terrifying. It's like a fucking corpse drifting through the clouds. I don't like that. However, everything. Well, almost everything. Now, now we actually have to, like, you know, go and unlock them. But, uh... There it is. Fuck yeah. Three videos. Three videos of, like, two hours. Granted, it's two hours, but still. Join me next time as I, uh... Finally, let's start with Moogles. Good boy.